Uh, just for purpose of, you know, formality, this is a Stuck in Real podcast, a platform for entrepreneurs, innovators, creatives like Stephanie, who I'm going to introduce in a minute, uh, where we discuss ideas, experiences, and uh, just, you know, stories on how we can break the mold, how we can break barriers. I have the pleasure of speaking with Stephanie Toom. She's a womb chick from, from Cameroon. <laughs> uh, she is recognized as an actress and a remarkable talent across uh many platforms as a producer as an actress um and she is the producer if i'm getting that right of the new movie seven bango yeah welcome to the platform, the right. platform. thank welcome you thanks for having me uh thank i guess you. for starters like for those who don't know who stephanie is who who is stephanie well like you say stephanie is an actress and a producer and of course i'm the producer of the most talked about movie saving bango and um yeah most talked about when when did this project when did this project start and now we're having a premiere on the 27 when did when did you have the vision for this project like yo i'm gonna i'm gonna do a movie like this and this specific project i think sometime in um early 2019 mm, so just about yeah. last year about a year ago Is yeah, this about first- a year ago for people who are under, uh, otherwise fam- unfamiliar with you, this is not your first movie as far as acting. No, this is not my first movie as far as acting. I think it's like the seat, but this is mm-hmm. my first movie as a producer. What, what goes, what's the difference, you know, as far as like from your perspective, you've been in both sides of the pendulum as an actress and now as a producer, like how different is, is, is both, both angles? for you i mean both angles are quite challenging right but being a producer it's very 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 challenging it's exciting as well i mean and it's just like it's a different world it's a whole Mm -hmm. new world you know you get Mm -hmm. to deal with people from different backgrounds you know different personalities i mean the challenges that come with producing you never know what's going to happen things change you know Mm -hmm. so yeah yeah. Those are some of the challenges that you face as a producer. Did you know that going into it being your first movie? No, I did not. And that is the beauty of it. It's like I just discovered the whole thing during the process. So that's what actually made it like exciting. Like this whole adrenaline, each event that unfolds, it just makes it more exciting. Although it's challenging, but it's like it's like a learning process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, what, what did you do to, to, you know, and I'm just getting to know you as a producer and, you know, the whole project. We're going to talk extensively about the project and about a whole lot of things. Gear, how did you, how did you gear, prepare going into it? As far as like, I'm about to produce this movie. What were your first steps? My first step was actually to get the right people to work with, because mm-hmm. as a first time producer, right, I didn't you know, know everything that I know now. So it was very, very essential for me to get the right people to work with people who already had the experience that I did not have. And Mm -hmm. um, also a lot of spiritual preparation as well, because, yeah. What is this movie about? Saving Bango, right? It's the most talked about movie from, uh, from Cameroon, I, w- I would even yeah. dare to say, you know, right now from Africa. What, what's the movie about? I see some clips that I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm ready. Well, Saving Bago is about. It's a story about a young guy named John who is like the breadwinner of his family, and uh, he goes through a lot of challenges in life. Falls in love with a girl called Bango, who is going through her own struggles, and he's caught in between. Um, saving Bango, saving himself, and basically uh, taking care of his family and all of that. So it's just a true African story, a very realistic story, you know, mm-hmm. and um, authentic as well. What we did with Saving Bango is we decided to use an all Cameroon cast and crew. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and we also decided to stay true to to our our culture, our, you know, everything. Mm-hmm. Who, what, yeah. what, what writers did you work with, if any, or did you write it yourself? No, I did not. I worked with um, a colleague of mine. He's called Lino Lovett. Yeah, so mm-hmm. he's the, yeah, he's the scriptwriter of the movie. Um, as far as investments, was this a thing where you were like, "Listen, I know this movie is about to go big. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it myself because I don't want nobody coming after the fact saying, "Hey, 
you know, I want to cut my cut and this, that, and the third. How, how, how did you raise funds for it? Okay, the, the thing with that is I didn't want to go in for a first project and just carry my funds and just invest all my funds in it and all of that. I needed a partner. You understand mm -hmm. that uh, producing movies in Cameroon is always like uh, self-funded. So we don't get people like corporates to come and invest or banks and all those kind of things. You have to use your own funds to actually invest in the project. So I needed mm -hmm. a partner and... Um, Fortunately, I found one in Julia, Julia Ngam, mm -hmm. who is the co, who is one, uh, the co executive for yourself, Singing Bango. And um, she immediately loved the project and wanted to be part of it. So that's how we made it uh, happen. So it's just a project funded by myself and Julia. Mm -hmm. It's funny how, you know, saying God works, God does his things, you know, in crazy, mysterious ways. I know yeah. you, you, you're based in Cameroon. Yes, I am. I know you're here, you're right now in the States, you know, for a big premiere, you know, the carpets have been rolled out, you know what I mean? Exactly, all Everybody the preparations and everything. This, you know? Everybody <laughs> their fits, you know what I mean? And then we the got, outfits they, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're here with the COVID-19 coronavirus. And yep. walk me through your mind when it comes to, you know, a big premiere with, you know, carpets and people and camera lights reporters and everything to now having to premiere it by the way the movie is now premiering on the 27th on amazon prime what what went through what what, what were you going through when you had to make that decision hey listen we've actually um premiered same bango in four uh, four cities in cameroon in mm -hmm. douala yaoundé bamenda and boyer so mm -hmm. this is really something that i've been quite used to um, coming to the States, Julia has been working everything out for us to have an amazing premiere in, in uh, Chicago and D.C. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we have the COVID-19, which is out now, and we cannot do the premiere, but um, we're going to be premiering it online on Amazon, which mm -hmm. is still amazing, mm -hmm. amazing, amazing, because, I mean, that was the plan after the whole uh, U.S. premiere to put it online so it can, you know, be out there for everyone to watch it. So, yeah, yeah. hey. Um, God <laughs> has his ways, right? Yeah. So, yes. kudos, just... kudos, kudos to you and your team though, for working uh, as fast as, as I don't know how to get this premiered on the 27th. Um, mm -hmm. So will it be available both here in the States and internationally, or is this an exclusive premiere for, you know, the States here? No, it's going to be available internationally. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of an impact, though, you know, you mentioned, you know, there's been premieres back home, Yaoundé, Douala, but what kind of an impact do you see have, you know, um, the movie having, being that it's premiering now online, especially with back home, even Nigeria, you know, Togo, wherever, where, you know, um, the internet is, you know, that gigabytes and that, you know, it's it's uh, it's a pretty penny. Uh, how, what, yeah. what kind of an impact do you see the movie having at this, at this point now, being that it's an exclusive online premiere on the 27th on Amazon Prime? Um, first of all, what we're trying to do with um, Saving Bango is to change the narrative, right? Try to get this movie out there because what we always get from the public is, oh, where do we watch your movies? Where can we watch your movies? All those questions, right? So mm -hmm. we're trying to make our movies available to the public now, get more mm -hmm. people to watch it, see the work that we're doing, you know, and appreciate the arts and all of that. I know we have a problem, a serious problem with... Um, internet connection in Cameroon and all that. So we're working on something that is going to work for those back home, but this is mostly for those in the diaspora. So, mm -hmm. yeah. What's next though, after this premiere, you know, if the virus passes, do you see you and your team, you know what I'm saying? Like flipping the script, coming two times harder with a bigger premiere, um, even of after course. the movie? <laughs> of course, that's the plan. You know, when you do a project like this, right? Mm -hmm. People expect more from you. So the right. next project is like, you have to do bigger than this, so that's the plan. Mm -hmm. that's I'm talking the plan. in terms of I'm talking in terms of an official, you know, um, I guess viewing where even though people have seen it already, because I imagine, and this is one thing I wanted to ask you too, like how much how much bag, how much money are you guys losing with now, not doing a a premiere where physical bodies are coming to pay and watch the movie and it being exclusively on Amazon Prime on the 27th. 
Well, the thing is, we're not looking at that side right now because if you want to look at that side, then it's just going to discourage <laughs> us. So what we're trying to look for is like solutions and see how we can monetize this whole thing and capitalize on this situation right now. So we're not focusing on the side of, you know, losing money on the, the physical premiere and all of that. We can still make money online, a lot of money, especially mm -hmm. as we're going to have more people will reach online. So mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to look at. Just stay positive. Yeah. Um, if you are going to watch the movie on the 27th, Saving Bango, produced by Stephanie Toon, uh, Cameroonian producer, actress, actor, actor, please rate it. Uh, five star comment so the algorithm can push it up so we can have this thing spread yeah. like a virus. Uh, just a reminder, like I said, I'm speaking with Stephanie Toon, the producer of the new movie, Saving Bango, coming out exclusively on Amazon Prime premiere on the 27th. That's in two days. Uh, how, you feeling right days. Now? how you feel right now? I'm kind of confident. Very mm. confident. Yeah. That's good. I'm That's very good. confident. That's good I'm, I'm also excited because um, I cannot wait for everyone to watch this movie and understand, you know, what we did, you know, and appreciate it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you're from Wom? Yes, I'm from Wom. Uh, how many siblings do you have? I'm an only child. Oh man, how did you, <laughs> how did you get into acting and you know in the film industry? Was it your parents encouraging you, or just something that you just you know inspired from from uh, you know life experiences? I think I just got ins uh, inspired. Not like anybody pushed me to do it. Mm -hmm. Who who, yeah. who did you look up to, or do you look up to right now? Both as a producer, from a producer standpoint, as an actor uh, standpoint. Who do I look up to? Mm -hmm. You mean the industry? In the industry, you know, who inspires you, who, you know what I mean, like who um, just pushes you, motivates you, and, and things like that. I mean, I think each and every person in the industry that is just striving to bring change, um, putting in hard work to push the industry forward, mm -hmm. yeah, they inspire mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. in their own ways, yeah, individually. What do you see, what do you see the Cameroon, you know, in terms of music, you know, uh, we're making waves right now. What do you see the Cameroon film industry? Uh, you know, and I'm going to use our neighbor Nigeria, for example. You know, um, mm -hmm. you know, you mentioned some some movie or film titles. It's like I know exactly that movie. You can have yeah. conversations with people on those on those different projects. Where do you see, you know, the Cameroon mu uh, movie industry right now? Well, I think um, the Cameroon industry, the Cameroon film industry is progressing. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not where we want to be yet in terms of um, distribution and marketing, but um, in terms of talent and the quality of movies that we're producing now, I think we can compete with the rest of Africa, especially Nigeria, since Cameroonians like to look up to Nigeria. So we're at that same level in terms of the quality of movies, stories, and um, uh, the talents that we have in Cameroon. Uh, the thing we're lacking in Cameroon right now is just um, a marketing and distribution platform. And if mm -hmm. we have that, we're going to excel like the rest mm -hmm. of um, the other African countries that we look up to, like Nigeria, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, we also need a lot of funding to be able to produce more movies so people can actually make a living out of their craft, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, aside that, we are in a good place in the movie industry. And um, hopefully we get Cameroonians to start supporting their own as well and um, appreciating above all their own. Uh, how do you what do you see that right now as far as like is there a lack of support or a lack of interest or just uh people just not being aware um i think it's people not being aware because with saving bango i've had a lot of support especially from the diaspora even in cameroon you know with people not really having a lot of money to support and come for premieres and things like that but they still showed up we have the support that we need but we lack the awareness because of the, the lack of distribution and marketing, like I earlier mentioned, and because our movies are not accessible to the public, I feel like if you feed the public with what they want, they will naturally, you know, return the love, just as it's um, happening with the music industry. The music mm -hmm. is out there, people get to listen, so it's natural that we feel like the, the music industry is receiving more love than the movie industry. It's just because their own product is out there and it's accessible to the public, whereas ours is not. So mm -hmm. I think that's just it. 
So what once we actually like cross that bridge, then we'll get to where we're heading to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the points. By the way, for uh, those who are watching right now on Instagram, uh, if you have any questions to Stephanie, uh, the producer of the new movie hitting Amazon Prime on the twenty seventh, just comment and I will be sure to ask her. Uh, we're gonna flip this video, put it on Facebook and uh, and YouTube in no time, so people can be aware of this. Uh, Greatly talked about movie that's premiering in a couple of days here. What was your favorite, you know, part about w working on this project? I know it's your baby from early 2019. Anything from being on set to the director to the actors, like just walk me through like a fun memory. Oh, um, I guess it's when we're shooting in Mondoni, right? So mm -hmm. every every day after shooting we actually have this fun time we just get together and just you know just have like you know get to know each other this bonding moment you know i think those are really good memories that i left mondoni with because i got to make a lot of friends people i wasn't really close to in the industry that i worked mm -hmm. with and then we you know created a relationship a deep relationship from set and all of that so those are really some fun memories that i got from set Hardest part, though, about working on this movie, I imagine there were some times where you were oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dealing with different personalities on set right. every day. Right. Every day. You can imagine dealing with people's egos and all of that every day on set. It's like every day there's a new thing happening every day, and you have to keep up with that. You have to be professional. You know, you have to... It's just that part. Mm -mm. Mm. That was the hardest part. Dealing with people's personalities every day, their ego. Would you do it again? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's our passion. That's our passion for the craft. That's our passion. Of course. Of course. Well, I'd imagine as a right now, you're probably already looking at your next project. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Any any, any exclusives, you know what I mean? You wanna she said no nah, i ain't dropping nothing Maybe. i cannot drop anything right now Ooh. the title but uh, you have so, the exclusive when it's time why that uh, uh shout out to ak uh very uh good question here he says why that title saving bongo by the way for those watching it's premiering on amazon prime on the 27 that's in two days if you don't have Amazon, get that free trial so you can watch this movie. <laughs> but uh, why the title Saving Bango? Well, Saving Bango, the title Saving Bango, because this story is told, it's Bango's story, right? Told mm -hmm. from John's perspective. You understand? Mm -hmm. And he's the one going through everything to, to save Bango from all the hardships and everything that she's going through. So mm -hmm. this title was actually suitable because that is... Like that is his journey with Bango throughout the movie, so it's saving Bango. If the story was told from Bango's perspective, I don't think the title would have been saving Bango. Mm -hmm. I watched. Yeah. Um, you did. You did a thing that is so rare. You actually put out clips from the movie. People can see on your Facebook page right now. I watched one of the clips yeah. where John is conversing with Bango in a very nice scenery, and she can't read. And it's yeah. this beautiful, um, very touching. Genuine love. Yeah, very you can genuine feel love. It. Yeah, you know what I mean? Where she just, you know, can understand what he's communicating, even though he eventually translated. And it's just so, I was like, I got to watch this joint. I, you know, shout yeah. out to Nico. Shout out to Nico, by the way. He's the one who connected us. I told him, like, yo, tell Stephanie, send me the link. I'm going to try to watch this joint right now. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to Nico. Shout out to the Hot Gem. Shout out to Joy. Shout out to my partner, Julia. They're doing an amazing job. I'm so sad that this um, premiere cannot happen, but um, I'm so proud of the work they've put out there and everything that they've done so far. Shout out to everybody in the U.S. who've been helping with all of this, promoting. Shout out to... Um, Can Quintus, mm -hmm. who has been helping us. That's one of my colleagues in the industry, you know, with tickets and all of that. So we've really had a lot of support with this and all this, you know, helping us connect with people like you. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, listen, if you want to see more from Stephanie, 
The Giant Broom is a movie she's been in. Pink Poison is a movie she's been Pink in. Pink Poison. Very, that's V-I-R-I. Uh, Shrill, S-H-I-R-I-L-L. It's a movie she's been in. Little Cindy is a movie she's been in. Now she's a producer, producing her first movie, Saving Bongo, coming out on the 27th. I want to ask you a question, though, that, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's a little nuanced. We have Nollywood as a brand name. We have... Uh, Hollywood and Nollywood as a brand name. What do you, you know, say think the brand name for the camera movie <laughs> industry? A lot of people have, you know, said like mentioned Hollywood or whatever. What would you say, you know, say we need to brand this thing under? Well, hey, the name I know now is the camera film industry. I don't know any other name. I've heard a lot of names, but I don't really know those names. All I know is. Um, uh, movie industry is called the Cameroon film industry, CFI. And it's growing. And it's growing. And it's definitely growing, definitely growing. The thing is, right, Cameroonians don't get to to watch <laughs> our movies, and it's not their fault, and they always have something to say. I just call it, for me, right, I just call it tough love. So they cannot understand the level we're at right now, but each time we go in for a competition, like for a... Uh, an award competition with all of these Nollywood movies and all of that. Yeah. We always beat them, mm. which means we're doing something. Right. You get what I'm saying? Which means we're doing something quantity. amazing. Exactly. Mm. It's it's quality over quantity, like you said. It's it means we're doing something amazing. My biggest wish right now is for us to have platforms where we can put our movies for you guys to watch, for the public to watch, and appreciate it the way they appreciate in Nigerian movies and all of that. And I promise you, if we have sponsors coming into the industry to invest and all of that, we're going to put things out there that you guys are going to be so proud of. Yeah, this guy said Cam Wood for the name. And he says someone bright forget. Uh, speaking of platforms, uh, we have Netflix now in Nigeria. Um... That's huge. Huge. Congrats huge. To, congrats that's, to Nollywood. That's, that's goals yeah. right there. That's goals right there. It's huge. It's really? like the dream <laughs> is just coming closer. It's just coming closer. So hopefully we get to get some camera movies on Netflix too. Right. Netflix, Nigeria. And, you know, hopefully some, some tech wizards out there, you know, from Cameroon can develop the Iroko versions of Cameroon and, and different things Actually, like that. Actually, we have, um, I think we have two platforms. I don't know why these platforms don't function. We have um, Sango TV mm. and Joker TV. We used to have uh, camera movies on it. But lately, I haven't seen any, you know, any, anything happening on those platforms. I don't know if it's lack of funding or whatever. I don't really know. I cannot tell. But I hope, you know, some Cameroonians can come up with great platforms, you know, to bridge this gap. Mm. What is Powerhouse Entertainment? Powerhouse Entertainment is uh, a, uh, an entertainment company owned by my partner, Julia. Um, she does movie productions, uh, music, um, a lot of things, a lot of things, basically. She has a radio show as well. So she's doing great with that. Now, you uh, produce this movie under MB Productions. Yeah, MB Productions. MB Productions. Um, what what is MB Productions? MB Productions is my production company, mm -hmm. and um, we're we're focused on producing uh, feature films, short films, documentaries, and um, we're kind of um, trying to cover our own niche to focus on stories like Saving Bango, which we just um, released, and um, films that actually are authentic, that are mm -hmm. original, you know. Cameroon films that have 100% Cameroon cast and crew and all of that. Even if we're bringing in foreigners, but it's always going to be like an 80-20. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I was good. That was one of my questions earlier. Like, do you think, you know, especially as we're building from the ground up, we need the big names, even say from Nollywood or from Hollywood to, you know, to be able to get our feet off the ground or we can actually do it ourselves as far as what you've done with Saving Bangle casting and exclusive Cameroon uh, 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 actors and actresses? Well, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with us bringing in um, foreigners in our movies as long mm -hmm. as we give the light and we give the light to Cameroonians to shine 
You understand what I'm saying? But I also feel like we can do Cameroon movies that have all Cameroon cast and crew, and it will still come out great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So I don't think I don't think we necessarily need to bring in you know foreigners before the movie is going to be good or not. Mm-hmm. How much? Uh, 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 another question here. How much did it exactly, if you don't mind sharing, uh, did it cost to make this to produce this movie, Seven Mango? Mm-hmm. In um, CFA, approximately, we can we can translate it. Approximately, to approximately, 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 um, uh, plus or minus thirty million. That's how much. Sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I better go watch this movie on the twenty seventh. She put a lot of work. She put a lot of money. Uh, great passion in it. What's next for you? I know you mentioned you're already working on your next project. What What's What's really next for you as far as like what What are you What are you looking to do in the next five to ten years, both in, as a producer in in the industry and and just in the camera movie industry. Um, producing more movies, creating a platform where the movies can be put out there. Because at the end of the day, um, as a producer, I cannot sit and always wait for someone else to create platforms for my movies to be there and stuff like that. You know, I can make that work for myself. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, movie production is all about business. And um, I need to think towards that direction more and work towards that direction. So it's about um, producing more movies and building a platform where I can get my movies and maybe other movies on it, you know, mm-hmm. make money out of this thing. Right. You know what I mean? You can't just be spending. You gotta yeah. make. <laughs> no, you got to make money out of it. I mean, there's so many ways to make money out of this thing, but you will need to spend to make the money. And that's right. why um, the budget of Steven Bango is that, you know. Exactly. If you, if you look closely to other movies that have been shot in Cameroon, uh, we, have, we don't have any other movie that has actually gotten to this stage and gotten this attention and engagement like Steven Bango because it costs a lot of money to put in, you know, to put in, in uh, promotions, you know, all of these things to get the movie mm-hmm. where you want the movie to go to. You need to invest a lot of money in that. It's not just in in the production, post-production. It's from the beginning, from the pre-production, you start spending money. From the production, you're spending money. Post-production, you're spending, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, when you're promoting the movie and trying to get it out there for the public to know about the movie and all of that, you're spending still. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, I commend you. Uh, I know I will be glued to my Amazon device on the 27th. I hope it drops midnight 26, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> so I can I can be right there to watch it. Um, it's, a, it's a sad, you know, sad, sad thing that COVID-19 coronavirus has pushed the movie out of a physical premiere. But I know that yeah. the, the support will still be there from both Cameroonians and, and non-Cameroonians yeah. alike. And uh, yeah. hopefully... This platform, Stuck in the Middle, does its part in promoting that. Um, it's, you know, like I said, it's sad we couldn't get a live stream on, on Facebook, but I'm glad we connected on Instagram. We flip this yeah. around and put it on there so we can share it and get the awareness out there. Anything else yeah. you want to add about anything? Um, just as we oh, close. I just, I just want to express my gratitude to all those who have been supporting us and um, promoting this movie and those who have been working in the background because they're the real heroes here. There's a lot of people working in the background to make this happen. And um, it's not just me and Julia who are the people pushing Saving Bango to be there. So I just want to tell them thank you. I appreciate you guys. And for all you guys who are supporting, thank you so much. Um, I love you guys to subscribe, watch our movie, help us to make money out of this movie so we can produce more movies. And um, yeah, so thank you for everything. I appreciate it, Stephanie, uh, the producer of the new camera movie premiering on Amazon Prime on the 27th, Saving Bango. Uh, you can go there right now, and I don't know if it's up there right now. Pre-save it so you, you get that notification when it drives to watch. You can go check her other projects out as you gear up for this one and uh, follow her on Facebook, all that good stuff, so you can get updates on everything she got coming in the future. Stephanie, appreciate you so much kicking it with us. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Hey, take care, and we'll, we'll be chatting soon. All right. Take care, too. Bye. All right. 
and there you have it. Uh, just finished with Stephanie. Appreciate everybody who joined in on Instagram Live. Um, this is going on YouTube and Facebook right now. This is Stuck in Middle Podcast. I am Reflex. Shout out to Mr. Victor standing right here. And we out.